Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. Happy Fat Tuesday. And man, do we have a treat for you. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. Please take note, my contact information is down below. You can always reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And today I cannot wait to show you through this 2023 Newmar Superstar 4065. This is a mid-bath bunk model floor plan and it is fantastic. How do I know? I've got one myself. So Jody, as usual, I like to start my RVs from the inside out. Please go ahead and take her on back. And on that note, for anyone who would like to find more videos with more variety of RV videos um, that cover the gambit of not only Super C's, but Class A's and Class B's and Class C's, uh, take a look. Find me on Arby's Inside Out at your YouTube station. Uh, so hashtag Arby's Inside Out is where you'll find a ton of videos there. Um, now, personally, this is my favorite floor plan. I happen to have a 2022 Superstar. I've got to tell you, uh, Chris and Ann, I'm a little jealous. This turned out really, really well. And with all the 2023 upgrades, I think you're in for a treat. Uh, so today we're looking at the cold facts on the interior, the glacier glazed maple finish. And this is the new finish for 2023. We have a high gloss option available. It looks beautiful. This is a really stunning coach. Of course, one of my favorite features of this vehicle, lots of room here. I actually have a nice little ring stand I put out, place to hold my bracelets, uh, keep my car keys. Um, but I love these deep extension drawers. So these full extension drawers are not only nice uh, for you, but if you have company, a lot of times we'll tell people, you know, bring a duffel bag and what you can fit in there will have a drawer for you so that while you're camping, you can get inside of all of these drawers and have your own space to keep things uh, while we're stopped. And then of course, packing makes it easy. Uh, over top, you'll note that we have these really nice uh, storage bins and these are carpet lines. So there's not gonna be any rattles going down the road. Uh, we talk a lot about the really nice high-end finishes, but you know, on a Super C to have something like these carbon fiber uh, handles, um, these, you know, really nice, uh, rich feeling, uh, thick, well-built cabinets, you know, nice and sturdy. Um, these are all the things that you would expect for having a coach that's maybe a little more aggressive in the marketplace, blended with beautiful. So this Superstar, of course, is a 40 foot, 11 inch, uh, M2106 chassis uh, Super C. And so the Super C segment is really strong. What's nice about this M2106 is it's paired with the Cummins L9, uh, which is an 8.9 liter M engine. And that engine boasts uh, 360 horsepower, but more importantly, 1,150 foot pounds of torque, giving you lots of capacity to pull that 20,000 pounds behind you. So for those of you that have, you know, side by sides, maybe a horse trailer, a large boat, um, this chassis is really designed um, by Numar to support that heavier weight. And there are a lot of Super C's out there in this segment that aren't so good because they've got a shorter wheel pace. Uh, one of the things that Numar did this year is they actually adjusted their wheelbase, giving it even longer length. And that length, of course, is four inches longer, giving you even better capacity to tow those heavy loads. So really important stuff here. Um, now, this coach is equipped with a washer and dryer. This is an optional feature. Uh, but the Splendid is, of course, really nice to have. Um, this is a great unit for doing laundry while going down the road. Uh, you can get all of your wash done. You'll use about 60% of your water if you're using, uh, I'm sorry, your gray water capacity. If you do about four or five loads going down the road, I always encourage people do your laundry while you're driving so that when you get to your campsite, you can dump your gray water tank and fill up your fresh. Now, from a fresh capacity, we've got 150 gallons of fresh water which is just fantastic. Uh, so for those of you who've been out on the open road, you know how important it is to have all of that fresh water. Um, this coach has what you need uh, to be able to stay out for about a week or so. A 60 gallon gray water tank with an Aquaview recycling water system and a 40 gallon black water tank. So lots of capacity here. Uh, the optional safe in the rear is actually mounted uh, very sturdily into the frame of the coach into the aluminum. And one of the things that really makes Numar different is going to be the way that they're constructed. So 16 on center residential framing is interesting in that 
most coaches uh, will have windows that are kind of floating, if you will, in some kind of insulation. These are actually mounted to an aluminum uh, channel, C-channel framing. Uh, it has little holes that go through it so you can actually run wires and keep things moving consecutively throughout the coach without having to have them uh, mounted on top of things as much or in cabinet spaces. So they're hidden, they're mounted inside. Uh, but more importantly, what it allows us to do is it allows us to go ahead and mount those windows to an actual frame, mount the safe to an actual frame. So all of these uh, components in your RV are actually set in place so you couldn't just come in and remove that safe you'd have to really like have like a welding tool or something to remove it so awesome you know awesome in the way that it is built first of all for the quiet for the insulative properties um, just for keeping your coach, coach cool in the summer or warm in the winter but also in the rigidity that allows you to have for all the components going into your coach like your windows your safe uh, just the framing overall and on top of that, um, because of the fact that we're using that bat insulation, we're actually getting a very residential level of insulation in this coach, not just from a, again, heat perspective, but also from a sound perspective. Uh, now up here is one of my favorite places in my coach. We use this, I've got some uh, little trays that I bought that are plastic that slide out. Great to keep pillows and blankets. So just a ton of overhead storage. And of course, of course this is overhead. And you'll see the outdoor garage in the back of this unit when we get outside, but definitely a huge selling point for us in making the decision to buy a Superstar. Uh, another nice feature, I can go ahead and clean off the little, uh, I can remove the Fendi design. I always thought that looks kind of like a Fendi design um, from in front of the mirrors, clean them and then put that back into place. It's magnetic, so it'll stay in place, but really easy to take care of. And then of course we love, again, all of this carpet lined over cabinet storage and you'll note that there is two 110 outlets out here or up here above the headboard as well as reading lights um, and that's a really nice feature you'll also note that we have kib switches which is what we call these little plastic switches with the blue glowing lights um, these lights allow you to operate your security lights your interior lights in 2022 they came up with an all lights off switch which is there where you can just push that button and turn all your lights off but in 2023, they really stepped it up. They really came out with a great new system and we actually can act, we can log into and link our Bluetooth system to Numar's app and control our lights from our phone now, which is just a huge, huge upgrade. Um, now here above your or below your nightstand, you'll note that we have two USB ports as well as a 110 outlet. So if you are looking to run a CPAP machine, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this bed uh, up so you can see not only the storage underneath, but also the place where you could keep that CPAP machine. There's plenty of room down here on both um, the left and right hand side of the bed. And on top of that, you have just this great place to keep your water bottles. And then one of my favorite features of the coach, and one of the things I find most useful, are all these little drawers. So these are full extension again, really nice, well-constructed drawers. And I'm always talking in my videos about how I like smaller drawers with different sizes because you can keep socks, underwears, bathing suits, all those things in these drawers underneath. Of course, all our soft clothes. Um, the construction that we find in Napanee, Indiana, where this Numar is constructed is just super, super high quality. And that is really in large part due to the Amish community that we employ in Napanee. Um, so many of these people have multiple relatives that have you know, either their whole families work for Numar some of these people have been there for 30 years. Uh, it's just an amazing community, but they take such great pride in the workmanship and it really comes through in everything that you see. Now this is a this is a RV King. So really nice, large bed. This is the same interior I have. I love this Colfax, really nice decorative interior. And one of the most important things for us, of course, is that it has the cross ventilation and you have both your day and night shades. So those are just awesome. And I love uh, just getting that cross breeze going through and, the, and you know, in the afternoon, maybe taking a nap, get that beautiful pine smell coming from the forest. Uh, and then up here, there's some grommets. So again, with these two 110 outlets that you have up top, if you wanted to maybe run uh, your computer, your laptop, uh, your iPad through, uh, so maybe you can, you know, you're listening to a book on tape or, I know, uh, maybe you're trying to find your next campsite, whatever it might be, you've got plenty of power there without having to plug it in over here. You can just run those little cords down, drop them through. And then of course, when it's time to get up and go, you just pull them back into the top and stow them there. So really cool feature there. Um, these little speakers here are just so neat. Um, a lot of people have asked me in uh, videos, 
what are those little squares on top? Well, those little squares are speakers, and you can run your dash radio up there. So if you want to watch the game, for instance, like, I don't know, maybe, you know, I use playing, whatever it is, and you're listening to it um, from the dash radio, you could actually play it in your bedroom while everybody else is, you know, maybe playing some bar board games or, you know, getting ready for breakfast, whatever it might be. You can have some privacy and sit back here and actually listen to the game in the bedroom, which I think is super nice. Another thing I would be remiss not to mention is this beautiful decorative ceiling. Of course, we have two 15,000 BTU air conditioning units on top of this coach, as well as heat pumps. Um, and those units are really nicely ducted and hidden in underneath this uh, beautiful uh, decorative ceiling uh, cover. But what's nice about this is it actually drops down and you could change your own filters. Uh, so really easy maintenance. And then of course, the way that they got this glow around it with the mirroring and the backlight, you've got just a really nice level of lighting. And all of that, again, can be controlled by this 10.1 inch touchscreen. So this is new for 2023. And this is a little Bluetooth pairing we were talking about where you can go to your uh, Connected Solutions app with Numar. And then in that app, you could actually operate your lights. So you can turn off, turn off and on all of your lights. So if I wanted to turn off just the bedroom lights, I could just put lights off. The whole bedroom goes dark. I want to turn them back on. I can turn them all on. Maybe it's, you know, early morning. It's time to get ready to go to, um, get ready to go, you know, out hiking or whatever it is. And you just want to turn the kitchen lights on. You can just go only to the kitchen and turn on each set of individual lights, whether it's just the ceiling lights, the overhead lights, you can turn everything on individually. Uh, the other nice thing about this is you can operate both your living room and bedroom here uh, on the center app. So when you're getting ready for bed, if you go, oh my gosh, I really like it cool at night. I want to turn that down to 63. Go ahead and turn that down, set your temperature. But again, this is all going to be reflected on your phone. So if you forget whether or not you remember to do it, you can just pick up your phone, which is of course, usually charging next to your bed stand and check and make sure you're not going to cook over eat over the evening. Um, another nice feature about this coach that we should talk about is going to be that we have different modes here. So we have auto, we have heat pump, and then we have furnace. Now, when we say furnace, it's really important to understand furnace is talking about um, hydronic heat. And when we talk about hydronic heat, uh, the superstar does not come with in-floor heating. Um, that would be something you could get in our Supreme Air. In-floor in heating is going to be an electric heat that has a coil that runs through the tile. Hydronic heat is not what you would normally think of like what you see in a house that has water in the tile. What it is is it's a tube of liquid that goes underneath the coach in our dual loop Chinook system, which is the Oasis um, hydronic system that we use for not only heating your coach, but also heating your water. Um, that system is pushing a tube of liquid that's heated in a boiler underneath the coach through a tube and it pushes all the air out through vents giving you what's called hydronic heat. And what's nice about that is it's really, really quiet heat. So you can run your hydronic heat off of not only uh, AC1, which is gonna be a single coil or a single element in that boiler system, or AC2, which is going to be a second system. You can run it off of the boiler system and that boiler system is running off of your 100 gallons of diesel. And what's so nice about that is you really don't have to worry about going and refueling your fuel. You just need to make sure you've got a full tank of gas when you go to your campsite and it just sips fuel. But what it also does is when you turn it onto the, bo the boiler system, it gives you really hot water, an unlimited uh, amount of hot water, up to 120 degrees. So it's really great. This is that kind of coach where you can go camping and feel like you're at home having a residential shower with that really nice piping hot water. And if that's important to you, uh, this is definitely something that you'll wanna consider. And this is one of the things that you get when you go into that a uh, higher line, higher midline Super C like the, like the Superstar. Um, so again, that's gonna be that furnace control here. And then here we see AGS, I've got the generator running. I know you wouldn't believe it because you can't hear it, it's so quiet. It's an eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator. But as you can see, I can tell what my charge is, I can tell how long my gen's been on, I can set up everything here so I've got my start stop for quiet time. Um, it's just really, really easy to use uh, this system. So as you can see, great improvement for us this year. And then here at my home screen, I can know how much my fresh gray and black water is. I can turn my water pump on and off. I can set my auto fill. Um, I can do everything that I used to have to go to the front of the coach to do right here in the middle of the coach. But more importantly, I can do it on my phone. 
Uh, so I still have the KIB switches, so I can still use these to turn the lights on and off. So it's one of the nice things is this does glow. So if you want to turn your hall light on at night, you can see that it says hall and push the button without having to take your phone out or to touch the screen. So we still have given you that switched ability, uh, but we've also given you a really nice way to be able to do it without uh, being mandated to come in and touch uh, the items throughout the coach. You can turn all those lights on and off at once. Uh, now here in the center bath, I think it's really important to just point out again, the Shower Miser water saving system by Aquaview is a really important feature. What that does is when I have this little dial set to recycle, it takes my 150 gallons of fresh water and it takes that water and it runs it through the shower, back down the drain and back into the fresh water tank. So I always tell people, don't turn it on recycle until you've rinsed out the shower. After you've rinsed out the shower, turn it on to recycle, turn that water onto hot and it will heat up the entire tank of water for you. That way when you get in to take your shower, you don't have to worry about waiting for it to heat up. It'll be preheated if you will. Uh, and that will also keep that water from going into your gray tank. So you're recycling it from your freshwater tank back into your freshwater tank until you switch back to this side. When you go back into this side, that hot water now is going to go ahead and go into your gray water tank. So you can really save a lot of water. And for us, I'm Jason can stay out for about a week on his own. Uh, for me, I'm closer to four days. I have long hair, so I just take a little bit longer shower. If you're military style, I don't know, maybe you get two weeks out of it. Hard to say, uh, but it's nice up here for those of us who want to be able to just kind of rinse off and stand over here, you can. And then of course you've got this adjustable uh, shower, handheld shower nozzle. Uh, it's removable, it's also on a slide though, so depending on which way you like to have the water pouring. Nice little shelf here to keep your razor, some shampoo, and then most importantly, our teak bench. Um, I had somebody who was a little upset that I told them that it only held 250 pounds and I was like, well, that's a lot better than finding that out on your own, sir. <laughs> so that's the max. If you're over the max, don't sit down or just do it at your own risk, right? Uh, so again, once again, really nice. These carpeted lined shelves are really priceless. Um, for a lot of people, if you're wondering what you do with your supplies, um, and then of course, this is a great place to keep your flat iron, your hair dryer. Uh, but keep your supplies in a little plastic tray when you have them in these areas because uh, first of all, if you forget something and it freezes and it overflows, it's much better if it's going into a contained location than if it's just going into your cabinets, whether it's wood or carpet. Uh, but what's really nice about that is when you put those little trays down, you just don't hear those rattles going down the road. Um, so up here you'll see um, you know, the brains of the operation, if you will. This is where we have our, uh, all of our circuit breakers. But what's so nice about this is how well labeled they are. You can see how tidy all of the cords are here in the center bath. You know, Numar really just does a fantastic job at making sure everything is well labeled, neat and easy to use. Um, now you can't see it in here, but there is a fantastic fan control up here. We use this very frequently. Um, one of the nice things about this is you can actually just open the vent. It is going to be rain sensing, so it will close if it needs to. But if you just want to get some fresh air circulating throughout the coach at night, you can just leave that open with some of the windows open and you really get a nice uh, amount of airflow throughout the coach. On that note, if you look behind Jody at this bunk model, one of the nicest features here is you also have these center windows. I leave these open most of the time when we're camping and I love the way that they deploy because you just twist the knob and they pop out instead of sliding. So even if it's a little bit drizzly outside or you've got a nice shower coming through, it rains in Colorado during the summer at like four o'clock every day. Um, you can leave those open and not worry about it having to come in and finding your bedding all wet. Uh, on that note, two more USB ports, a 110 outlet, and a nice reading light on both the top and the bottom bunk with, with also the day and night shades. And then, okay, so <laughs> someone said, well, you never show the drawers. Okay, so seriously, in my RV, there is nothing in these drawers because I always thought that these were decorative panels. I never opened them until I had a client that came out and said, oh, can we see inside the drawers? And I said, well, those don't open. Um, so Joe and Terry, hi, um, your RV goes into production this week. Congratulations. They came out in special order one off of a video just like this one. Um, so they do, they do come, you come out and order them and they show up and they're fantastic. And I'll still make you a video. Um, but 
thanks for the heads up. Yeah, those drawers actually do open. So a little additional storage none of us ever knew about. When I say none of us, I mean me. <laughs> now down here below the sink, you'll see we've got our um, kick plate there as well as our intervac system. And one of the things I think is interesting in just reading the literature um, from Numar about what they've done this year is they've tried to set it up so that they have um, their uh, hydronic heat or your, you know, your, your furnace going through uh, less kick plates so that there's less drawer or less cabinet infractions. So they've really done their best to give you and to maximize all of the storage. So by having uh, better centralized heating coming through a more efficient use of plates, they've actually given you more drawer space and more cabinet space. And it's interesting to hear that because Numar is constantly trying to raise the bar. Um, they're always looking at a way to maximize and make things better. I also wanted to mention to uh, a lot of people, I talk about this in the Renegade product as well. I love the way that there's no seam here. So these countertops are really easy to clean. There's nothing that's gonna get stuck and be gross in that little seam underneath the sink. And I also love this glass tile and the way that this is uh, set. It's very, very classy, really ties in nice to this high gloss uh, cabinetry, which is new for this year. Now this door, just so you know, is super, super solid, super, uh, super thick. So nice and quiet here in the office. One thing I've got to tell you, Numar, I don't know where you're going to put it. I haven't figured it out myself, but this coach really needs a robe hook. Just saying, robe hook, lip gloss mirror in the front. I mean, just a few little things, you guys. I know you're watching. I know they watch my videos because I hear a lot of the stuff I talk about in videos from Numar. Uh, so great place here. I love this closet. So for me, I don't use uh, this coach as much for kids as we use it for crap. So we would remove this mattress and have bins up here. Um, so you'll notice that this coach also does not have the optional televisions that you would normally find here. That is because this coach is being ordered or was ordered for a couple that doesn't have kids. It's just a really nice place to be able to keep things. And a lot of people go, well, I'm just gonna keep them in my bays underneath and I don't need to worry about that. Well, I hate to tell you folks, lots of stuff freezes and more importantly, a lot of stuff melts. So it's really nice to be able to have totes in this top bay. If you've got someone who wants to come camping with you and you need the extra sleeping accommodations, these are really nice 72 by 30 uh, beds. They hold real people. So um, one of the things I think is important to understand, and I have to have people lay in them all the time, but this has got plenty of room for a full-fledged adult. This is not a kid's bed. This is just an extra sleeping place. Now, um, I don't know that it would be a great place to cuddle with somebody. Might be a little bit tight for two, but for one, it's more than enough room. Um, but like I said, you don't have to buy a bunk model for you know six and seven year olds. You can just buy a bunk model because you wanna be able to keep your paddle boards inside. Uh, in our case, my boyfriend's a bike rep. He has to keep bike tires inside um, so he can keep all of his displays in here. Um, and then these full extension drawers are so great. Uh, we actually use a lot of those XOXO containers so that we can store things. And uh, when Terry came out, she was measuring to see like what size she needed. If you need me to measure for you, just let me know. I can take a tape measure, measure the depth and the height of these so that you know what kind of things to purchase when you go to the container store. Uh, another thing I really love about our coach, so much so that when I built my new house, I actually got an induction cooktop at home too. Um, I don't have the nifty inset cutting boards, which I would really love. These are super, super cool. Uh, of course, kind of a Newmar trademark. Um, but what I love is that we take this out and we can make bacon or trout, whatever it is that we caught that day, outside on the picnic table. So we can still pan fry stuff without having to take out like a Coleman grill or something like that. We can use the barbecue to barbecue. We still barbecue a ton, but anytime we're sauteing like onions or vegetables, instead of having to have a big old heavy cast iron, I can just have my nice all clad pans and I can get out there and I can really saute up some you know, bell peppers, whatever it is for whatever we're having um, outside of the coach instead of having to cook it inside the coach. Another a point that I always like to make sure I mention, um, this true induction cooktop, you can put a paper towel down on this cooktop and put your pot of water on there. We actually have these little silicone pads that we use. My pots are in great condition. 
it's really crazy. The ones that we had from our old house where we had open flames on them versus the ones that we bought and used at the new house. Uh, we still have kept some of those older pots, but you can tell which ones are carryovers because they've got all that gross staining on the outside of them. The true induction pots are really, really nice and clean. They're much easier to take care of. And most importantly, there's no open flame. So you can get this really hot, really fast, get it right to the specific temperature that you want, but you also don't have to worry about the kids catching your RV on fire. So really nice um, feature in, in terms of safety as well as efficiency for cooking. Um, of course, the Fisher Pagel dishwasher is full of um, winterizer, but I wanted to just to show how much room it has. And I love that it has these little stemware holders. And honestly, I use this more as a drying rack than anything else because it's just nice not to have everything up on the counter when you're done making your breakfast. If you only have two people and you don't have a lot of dishes to wash, you don't have to use it as a dishwasher. You could just use it as a drying rack. And then right before you pack everything up and it's time to go run it a quick cycle before you put everything away. Um, as you can see here, got a great silverware drawer, lots of room for spatulas, lots of room, you know, for um, any of the apparatus you need. We use a lot of tongs in our house. Um, of course, you always need to have those hot pads so that you can grab something out of the stove. Um, but great full extension drawers. And I have a few people that I'll log in from time to time that say, hey, you know, we don't need to see all these drawers. Check it out. There's a lot of other people making videos. But for those of you who are really considering this project, let me know what I can do to help you learn more about what it is that you're looking for. So that when you buy your RV, I'm answering and addressing those questions because the clientele that I'm looking to help uh, in these videos is the client that's really trying to make the best decision for their family. Really trying to make sure I show you all the different places that you can store things so you can make sure that it's gonna have the right amount of storage for you. Now, as you can see in this RV, there is a ton of storage. This just goes through to that same cabinet. So see, do, 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 do. <laughs> um, I keep all my decorations up here, which is kind of funny. And I keep all my plates and um, bowls underneath my seats. And the reason that is, I don't know if you all remember this, but at one point in time, I recommended that everyone keeps their bread under the seats at their dining table. Don't do that. We got a mouse. <laughs> it took it. It was a Dickens to get him out too. We had a mouse for a long time. So nice little extension here. Uh, there's also a few 110 outlets there underneath and then great access to both sides, including your standard trash can. And then I love the scrubby holder. And now the place that we keep our bread is here. We actually keep a toaster oven up here as well. And we keep a nice big long plastic tub where we keep all of our buns and stuff up here. It's huge storage. Um, and then I love our Whirlpool refrigerator. This is one of my favorite features of this coach. Love this fridge. I keep all of our cheese and like bacon down below. Uh, this little drawer here, or this little slide tray here, which is adjustable is so nice because you can keep your Prosecco there. Really deep storage here. Lots of room for Trulies or milk just depending on your audience. Uh, and then of course, great freezer access. And I'm really excited to show you the optional uh, freezer and refrigerator outside on the slide tray. It's tiny, but it's actually really cool because if you think about it, this is plenty of room to keep all of your meats and chickens and stuff like that. And because of the way that Numar de designed uh, this little Dometic slide tray, it's got an electric freezer, which has got plenty of room to keep a bottle of Prosecco or a few beers cold. But then on top of it, it also has plenty of room still in that bay for a full-fledged cooler, which is what we use the most. So I love that feature. Um, now you'll notice here I don't have the television up. Now I could turn, I could put the TV up on my phone. I could do it in the center hallway over there, or I can just push the traditional lift button, and it'll pop up. Uh, so in the bathroom, or bathroom, in the bathroom we don't have a 43-inch smart TV. In the bedroom we do, <laughs> but in the in the main galley here we've got a 50-inch. 4K smart TV. Nicest thing about this, um, I actually printed some stuff out right here. There's a few different systems available for Wi-Fi this year. If you'd like me to email you the specs on the new Wi-Fi, um, they have a Denali system and an Everest system. What's nice about this Everest Aspen system is this is gonna be a 5G and it has a few modem slots in it. So this is a better system. This coach is equipped with this system. If you want to learn about the difference, because there's a pretty substantial cost difference, I can send this to you. And then of course, we're still doing things like Starlink. 
we're still doing things like uh, cradle points so we can always you know upgrade your upgrade your system for you if you need to do zoom calls and things along those lines but with these tvs what's so nice about having wi-fi is you could just download your netflix hulu you know paramount whatever you're watching you can just play right here on the smart tv without having to have a receiver so you don't need to have that wine guard system um, and with a cable box unless you want to and then as you can see we're all hdmi ready so you can get all of your like playstation stuff wired up you've got a really nice uh, bluetooth uh, bose soundbar up top and then lots of storage if you're like one of those folks that wants to have a blu-ray player and watch lots of dvds i know one of our favorite pastimes is buying really bad movies for 2.99 at walmart while we're camping uh, we still do that and we still laugh you know our heads off and just love watching those really bad B-rated movies because we're not really huge movie buffs and all the good movies my kids have already seen so it's really kind of fun to watch all the bad movies. Now I do want to put this TV lift down just so you can see that we have USB ports and 110 outlets on both sides of the dinette now. Uh, this is of course a really important thing for anyone who wants to work from inside of their coach. Still all that great cross ventilation uh, Cross ventilation? Is that what I Cross ventilation. Well, ventilation is going to come out in Webster's next year. It's going to be the new version of RV breathability. Probably not. Okay. Cross ventilation. Uh, <laughs> this is a convertible booth. And like I said, I like to keep um, all of my bread goods in plates and dishes right here underneath. Um, this is where we keep all of our plates all of our bowls and then on the other side we have all of our napkins all of our silver not not plastic not regular silverware plastic silverware and then outdoor cups so everything is underneath here because at the end of the day that's actually really convenient and when we're eating it's easy to put everything away after dinner just kind of dry everything off throw it underneath um, in here we keep the remote for the television and our blanket we have two blankets and one remote and I love that you can flip this over. So this one is really, for those of you who can't um, feel this, I'll just tell you, this is a much better surface to set a drink down than on this. This is a much nicer place to rest your legs when you're sitting back on your couch. And then this little spot down here is where I keep my crystal champagne flutes. You all think I'm kidding. Jody knows I'm not kidding. Jody knows it's, it's legit, it's real. Yeah, I, I don't know, I like bubbles, guys. Uh, this curtain up here, snaps here to give you uh, an all-around darkness as you can see we've got the uh, skylight shade drawn right now so you could really black out this coach you could have littles sleeping here uh, this little futon futon it's not a futon it's a hide bed Jody oh what you're talking about hide bed is a queen size hide bed so plenty of room to sleep adults here so you could have two I'd say two littles maybe maybe one but two four six seven people here in this coach really easily um so lots and lots of sleeping accommodations or you could have like what a great place to have big dogs so if you've got big dogs that need to have a dog bed permanent in your coach love the idea of getting a super c like this with those bunks you can keep all of your puppy stuff in one place where they would have access to it while you're going down the road. They could be super comfy and get their snooze on so that they're all ready to go chase frisbees and stuff whenever you get to your campsite. So I love the thought of doing that. So for those of you who have big pooches, that's the way. People ask me all the time, should we get these Ottomans? 100%, the Ottomans are awesome. And where do I store them? I usually put them, honestly, they're on the bed. They might be in the bunk. Sometimes they're upside down on the couch. It just depends on how many people are traveling with us, uh, but they're not hard to not hard to stow. And all of the renegades, they actually have them down below. I can't imagine like carrying them in and out all the time though. This seems inconvenient. So again, really big bed. Um, one of the reasons that you can only get this dinette set up is because when you have the fully extended bed here, um, they have an extended dinette that sits that sits that seats six. Um, it comes out too far to have this bed deployed so you can get a jackknife jackknife is going to be the same 74 inch length um, it's just going to be like a futon uh, i think this is the way to go super super comfortable um, this bed is really really soft again i always do the elbow test i can't feel anything down below here which is good and then jody if you just want to pop, pop your head back down here 
or your camera, I guess. There's your three seat belts. So super, super nice setup. Um, for those of you that want the flexibility to be able to have friends when you feel like it, uh, but not feel obliged, of course, and that are looking for that extra storage capacity, whether it be for your fine furry friends or for some littles, whatever it might be. And as you can see, whew, super easy to put away. The latch release is over here on the left. I'll just tell you that so that you don't have to feel like I did the first time I tried to figure out why the couch wouldn't open. Um, but like I said, I love my Superstar. I am certainly a little jealous uh, because I love the telematics that they've added to this year's model. Uh, we have the cradle point, uh, the 5G cradle point. Um, Jason uses it for Zoom calls for work quite a bit. He also spends a lot of time on WhatsApp. So for you that are looking for information on uh, connectivity, I can certainly help with that. I'm not great with the um, receiver stuff. We don't have uh, any, uh, we don't have any cable in our coach. I do know that for people who like to watch the abs game, I've learned that you want direct TV. So if you're a sports buff and you watch the abs, direct TV is the way to go. Okay, so I have this list of things to cover. Um, what have we missed? Okay, so this coach has the universal toll module. Just a little bit about that. It just sends all of your bills to one location. So as you go across country, you don't have to worry about finding you, that you owe a ticket that you didn't know about. Um, We've talked about the Colfax interior, the glacier glazed maple uh, hardwood fin or hardwood claws, <laughs> glacier glazed maple high gloss uh, cabinets. So the high gloss, of course, is new for this year. We've talked about the dishwater, dishwater, dishwasher. Uh, the exterior uh, security lights are just nice. Better lighting systems are always better. This coach has a 360 camera system. I'll show that to you in just a few minutes. Uh, the Wi-Fi system we've talked about. Uh, this one has an SK2 300 satellite dish, so this one has the really good satellite dish. In fact, um, Chris and Ann are having two direct TV receivers installed so they can actually watch different things on uh, different televisions throughout the coach. The way we'll set this one up is that this front television and the exterior will be on one box and then the one in the bedroom will be on a different box. It's probably, I don't know, something like a... CU versus CSU like rivalry household or something like that where you can't have the same two people in the same room during game day. Uh, washer and dryer we've got. We've got our ottomans. A uh, solar prepped six gauge wire. What does that mean? Um, Numar does a four panel system. They're 110 watt panels. Uh, they're, the four of them are flat panels that you can walk on. Um, I have no idea why anyone would want to walk on the roof of their RV. If I have anything wrong with my RV, I've got a technician that looks like it. If, if you're that guy, though, that wants to go up there and walk on your solar panels, use the Numar system. Um, our new panel system by Zamp um, is 190 watt panels. So three of those panels get you almost 600 watts of solar uh, for less money than it would cost you for the system by Numar. Uh, so we actually are installing those three panels on top of this coach. I would highly recommend that. I think it's better. Um, we talked about the safe, the shower seat. Uh, the holding tank heat pad, 110 volt, what does that mean? It just means that um, in combination, so your hydronic heating system in this coach is actually heating the bays down below. Uh, so you can make sure that you're going to be able to be uh, much more of an all season coach than you would be with others. Uh, so you're not gonna be freezing those, uh, those bays. But we also have a 110 volt heat pad on your gray and black water uh, tanks so that you don't have to worry about freezing. So that's, that's an important feature that's on this coach as well as a surge protector. Uh, there's a hot water line to the basement. Of course, that's just really handy to be able to wash off the bugs from your windshield in the front of your coach. Of course, you don't want to let bugs sit on your paint. Uh, this tray storage we'll cover. We covered the bunk windows. Uh, the carefree awning package and then the two Nova side awnings. Those are really nice features to talk about. Um, I don't have your awnings deployed today, but the carefree awning package is really important. I'll show you where they are on the outside of the coach. What that does is it's oftentimes pretty windy when you're out camping. Um, in those cases where you still don't want to get the sun in the coach, but you might have gusts that are popping up in the desert or you know wherever you might be camping, it just gives you that great uh, protection from the heat inside of your coach. So that's how this RV is, uh, is equipped. And this is very much a special order um, from the exterior paint to the interior color to the cabinets. Uh, and I just really encourage you to know that coming out here and getting exactly what you want and not settling 
is not more expensive. It costs time because you've got to wait for the RV to arrive. But short of that, you're getting something that's going to be timeless in your family, something that will have that staying power. And of course, uh, the best way to spend less money is to visit me less frequently. Uh, the more often you're trading in your coach, the more you'll be spending. If we can get it right the first time, it certainly is the best way to go. Um, now we'll talk a little bit here about the big black rainbow. Um, I use that term, I'm not sure what the technical jargon for it is, but what's really important to understand about this chassis is that typically a Super C has a chassis that is welded at, from the chassis to the house. So it's all stuck together, so it's moving uh, simultaneously as opposed to having the flexibility of being able to wobble. So if you can imagine if all of your vertebra were fused together and you couldn't turn your neck, you would have a much different experience. Same thing goes with this coach. And when you're driving down the road, you can actually see uh, the two parts of this coach moving separately. Another thing that's really interesting about uh, this Numar product versus anything else in the marketplace is that although it has the traditional suspension system, it also has a air ride cab. That's something that you find on a traditional Class A that you don't find on any other Super C. And the reason that is is because this cab has airbags that are powered by its own air compressor. And what that does for you is that gives you that really nice, supple, stable feeling going down the road. If your house needs to rock and roll, it can. It's not connected to the chassis. And your chassis will stay at that nice, same elevation uh, the entire time, that nice, same inflation, if you will, and give you a really solid ride going down the road. So for those of you who want to feel a little more confident in your driving, it's a really big feature. Um, so if you wonder why you would consider it, it's really just ease of driving, comfort of use. Uh, I love these cubbies. When we have friends, I assign everyone a cubby. That's where I'll put your sunglasses, your wallet, your phone, whatever I find out there on the floor next to the fire pit after a really good night. And then you'll know where you can find all your stuff. So as you can see, lots of great cabs here. I want a little shout out to my friend Darian. Uh, Darian is over in Newmar. Uh, she is great. She will help coordinate any kind of follow-up appointments if you want to come visit the factory. Go in there. Um, in the winter months, they have discounted service rates, so you can get your oil change and service done at that location and actually get a factory tour, which is priceless. I can't tell you how fantastic the factory is. Jody, stay right there. I'm going to put this little slide up just so we can see this beautiful skylight. Um, this is a big difference maker. This is definitely something that, um, uh oh, am I off track? So when you're off track, folks, you feel, you hear that? Just, it's not a big deal. You just have to make sure you get yourself back on track. Um, it's so happy for me that I have one of these because I've learned so much <laughs> in, in owning and operating one. But no, this was a big, big difference maker for us. I just love the way when we're camping, it makes the coach feel so much more open because one of the things that you lose on a Super C is that huge windshield. Uh, but with this, I have that great view of the mountains that are around me, of the tree line, you know, whatever it might be, still available with all of that open light. So I love that. Um, as I mentioned before, the great little place here to keep your wallet uh, and your sunglasses. If the one thing we're missing is the lip gloss applicator mirror. Yes, I promise I won't do my mascara, but I wanna do my lip gloss. Um, there's no rear view mirror needless to say you can't see out the back uh, and then here's that top view camera system again when they launched this in 22 was one of the reasons we really thought it would be important to get this coach and what's so nice about this is it's got different types of views that you can use but as you can see if you're wondering what's behind you you can see everything and of course you could tell Avin has gone ahead and opened all these bay doors for me even the tv doors open so i can look out the window and go did i forget to close that door yeah, I did. It's worth putting my rain poncho on and going out there and closing it. So super nice there. Um, spend just a few minutes here. So turn the coach on. Let all of your needles cycle to the right. After they go back to the left, this little yellow engine will stay on in place. And you want to wait for that little yellow engine to turn off before you turn the coach over. Um, why do I talk about this? So it just turned off. The reason I talk about this is when that turns off, the coach is warmed up and primed and ready to start. If you start it before, then a lot of times this RV will be throwing a fault code to you and it's $165 to have them diagnose it and tell you you started your coach when it was cold. So use your block heater and remember to let your coach 
a warm up before you turn it over because if you don't, you'll probably incur a $165 charge for zero reason whatsoever. So just a little heads up there. Allison, we oh, we have a question. Daniel would like to know, does this model have a Cummins engine? Okay, so yes, Daniel. Daniel's asking if this coach has a Cummins engine. Um, so in Newmar, uh, we use the 8.9 the 8 liter ISL in the Superstar. We do use a Detroit in the Supreme Air, but in the Superstar, which is the coach that you're looking at right now, the 4065 is the Superstar chat or Superstar model. Um, this coach has an 8.9 liter ISL. Uh, it's a Cummins and it's paired to the M2106 Freightliner chassis. Uh, and that engine again is going to be 1,150 foot pounds of torque and it's going to be a 360 horsepower engine. And then this chassis has a 20,000 pound towing capacity. So really, really powerful, very, very capable uh, RV. And of course, when we go up into that Supreme Air level, we go up into a 30,000 pound towing capacity, 1,850 foot pounds of torque and a twin screw axle. So that thing is a beast. Um, if you ever have questions about those differences and why you might want one versus the other, I unsell a lot of twin screws. A lot of people don't need that kind of uh, chassis. And then some people I go, I hate to say this, but it's time for you to spend the extra money because for what you're hoping to do out there in the world, you actually need this. So it's really good that you're asking the question. And I hope uh, that if you have any other questions, you'll be you know, comfortable in reaching out to me. You can always you know, find my contact information at the beginning or end of this video. Send me a text, drop me an email, whatever it is. Um, I had two clients uh, pick up RVs off of videos yesterday. So I do a lot of sales online uh, to other parts of the country and I'd be happy to help you as well, Daniel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, now, Jody, if you wouldn't mind over here on the right, we have this little mirror that points down. Um, what's really nice about that little mirror that points down is that's going to show me when I'm making a right-hand turn uh, what's to the right of me and that's going to give me my curb, uh, my curb alert. So with all of these mirrors, I've got really good visibility tied into this system. Now, the Nav and Go system that we're using now is a great nav system. I really encourage you to use your RV nav. I recommend not using Google Maps. You can download these Google uh, or these uh, applications on your phone, but if you're in a place that doesn't have good connectivity, if you have it on your computer in your car, in your coach already, you'll be able to use that regardless of your cellular connection. So I really encourage you to get familiar with this. It's not hard to use. You just have to practice a little bit. It does have voice operation. There's a little button here. As you can see, you also have an ability to uh, connect your Bluetooth so you can have your, you know, your phone calls streaming over. Um, you've got your radio, regular radio. This coach also has serious satellite radio. That is not a standard feature. You have to ask for that. So that's an optional feature as well. You can connect your iPod. Um, so really, really easy to use, good system and important once again to be using that especially when you hit those cell phone pockets that aren't going to have good connectivity um, as you can see here we've got re we've got mirror heat um, we have our power windows our power locks um, our light test is just going to let us run through a cycle of lights so we can make sure that we are having everything firing where it's supposed to um, this burn off that you have for your deaf fluid um, what that means is that auto regen is going to basically burn off the particulate in your deaf you really don't need to do that it does it on its own um, so this button is there if you need to do it manually, but there's really no reason to do that. House um, and chassis battery boost. This is just going to be using either your eight house batteries to boost your chassis so you can start your chassis or using your chassis batteries to boost your house so you can start your house. Um, again, two chassis batteries, eight house batteries. These are going to be LE, or, uh, I'm sorry, lead acid batteries. Um, I know in the brochure it says AGM. Uh, but they are not AGM. They are lead acid batteries. Eight of them is giving you 800 amp hours, which is a lot of a lot of storage. Um, this little guy here is just going to lock that rear diff, giving you better traction. Maybe you're trying to get your boat out of the water. Maybe it's a little bit slippery. Um, again, your camera button is just going to allow you to cycle through your different cameras. Shade up and down is going to be for that window shade above. And then when you see here this little uh, lever that goes up and down, I can raise the rear airbags on this coach. You can hear it airing up right now. And what that will do is it'll allow me to change the height on the back of this coach so that I can get my trailer lined up. Um, I know that Ann and Chris have a really dope new Jeep. They might need to use this button. So that's what that's there for. Um, cabin ceiling lights, docking lights. Again, these are your, uh, your plug-ins for your, uh, your cell phone or for your, um, I guess they don't make iPods anymore. So your radio device and then 
Down here you have your uh, USB and auxiliary input. So this is where you could put your USB input into the dash, which goes into your radio. Um, marker lights, parking lights. This is gonna be to turn your engine brake on and off, and then you have high, medium, and low. So if you don't have it on, it won't work. And a lot of people who say, my engine brake's not working. Well, just flip that switch. It's a new thing. They used to just have it all tied into one, but now you have to turn it on as well. Um, over here, we're gonna have speed control, resume, and set and coast for your cruise control. Um, you're also gonna have increase and decrease for your speed. And then you're gonna have your flashing uh, brights or push to turn your brights on. And then your windshield wipers, white windshield wipers. <laughs> Watch out for those windshield, your windshield wipers with all the different intermittent speeds. As you can see, this coach does not have any kind of like light diodes for automatic windshield wiping control. You'll have to turn the dial. I know it's very, very savage. Uh, so power mirrors left and right. The bottom ones you have to adjust manually. And of course, <laughs> Nothing would be complete without a great old air horn because <laughs> that's just funny. <laughs> okay, so we're going to turn that off. Um, we're also going to go ahead and turn off our generator. So the gen starts right there. Push and hold. Um, when in doubt, especially if it's cold, hold that button down. When I say hold it down, it might be like two minutes. You might just be holding it and then it might start and then it might stop again. If it's cold, diesel does not like to be cold. If it's cold, sometimes you have to hold that button down for a little while, but typically you'll still be able to get your uh, your generator up and running, of course, so that you can get all of your, uh, your batteries charging. Now we did talk a little bit about um, that uh, front uh, compressor for your air ride uh, cab. On top of that, it also powers your air ride seats. You've got your heated seats right here that's high and low and off. These little guys here are just pneumatic support for your uh, air, for your um, lumbar support. And then you just push down to drop the seat. And then this little guy here is how you would turn the seat around. And these seats do uh, pivot, so they can turn the whole way around so you can have more seating in this coach. Now on the note of that little curtain we talked about earlier, I'm a really big fan of the heat shield um, inserts. The curtain's really cumbersome to me. My boyfriend's a dude. He puts the little heat shields up on the side mirrors. He puts the thing in the front, you know, so that it, it's got the reflective capacity. That's enough for me. But then of course, because he's a dude and it's a gadget, he puts up the curtain on top of it. I really think it's redundant. I think if you want my opinion, leave that cover at home. Just get those heat shield inserts and put those up because what they're gonna do is they go right up against the mirror, I'm sorry, the mirror of the window, and they actually reflect that sun out and keep the heat from coming into the coach. Um, okay, so I think we've covered the lion's share of the interior of this RV. Uh, the one thing I missed was your sink. It's a dual basin, undermount, stainless steel sink with a residential style faucet head and the optional kitchen window. Sorry. I, you know, I try to cover everything. It's just tough. Just tough. There's so much. All right, so let's just get this little step cover out here. So as you can see, really nice thing here. It's a nice solid standing surface. So if you've got puppies or children, you don't have to worry about them falling down the hole. Um, so that's kind of cool. Again, the WineGuard Razor satellite or uh, antenna is just nice. It automatically finds the 18 stations in our area. This is your Magnum Invertus is telling you where your power is coming and going. Um, and as you can see, all of these things here that you can cycle through, a lot of this stuff that you're going to be looking at um, will only, you know, rarely be used now that you have most everything on your app. Uh, you will use this to turn on and off your burner. Like again, I told you this is running off of your diesel tank versus AC1 or 2, which are running off of your 50 amp or off of your gen. Slides in and out. HWH, computerized leveling system. This is a really cool system, very much state of the art. Uh, this HWH system. What I like about it the most is that I can actually, uh, it ha has like little sensors and it shows me where uh, my coach is tilting and I can actually bring it up a little bit higher on the, the place where on the uh, passenger side so that my head is elevated a little bit when I'm camping. I, if I have it tilted at all down, I have a headache when I wake up. So it's really nice to be able to do that. Now we are gonna bring these slides in real quick. 
Oh, I have to move that? I don't know, Joe. Do you think it's going to push it? You know, I have to tell you guys, y'all, y'all think that Jody's just a cameraman. He is not. Jody is like everyone's best friend. He looks out for us all the time. He keeps us from breaking things. He reminds us that we miss stuff. Um, I keep telling everyone, they keep trying to promote Jody out of my department. Please, down below, just put in the notes. Don't let Jody go. We need Jody. Because honestly, he is just second to none. Now, Jody, come on down. I want to show how these slides lock. Uh, when you bring them in. So what's so cool about this system is that this is an automatic locking uh, slide mechanism. So I don't actually have to uh, put any kind of slide locks in place. Numar's got this set up so that you can actually just go ahead and bring it in. And then if you'll notice this beautiful uh, Gotham exterior is, is, is matched so that when you have your slides open, it's still color matched the whole way through. Um, now I think you can see already the walking room that we have back here. Um, I'm going to leave the red rear bedroom slide out so you can see it, but I can get all the way through here into the bathroom. Um, the dogs, if you had a big dog that was sleeping down here, could get into their little bed area. This you would have, uh, to, it would be closed if the bed was all the way in, so you wouldn't be able to have access to those drawers. So if you were planning on pulling in for the night, you might want to get your um, jammies out and keep them on top of the bed instead of in the drawers if you don't want to have to put your slides out when you get there. Uh, but as you can see, you could take a shower, have access to your bedroom, have access to your refrigerator. The puppies could have access to their, their beds. The kids could get into their bunks. All of those things with your slides completely closed. Um, so I think that that's really important. Um, it's not as generous as a space you'll find on uh, Renegade, but it's absolutely doable and very comfortable. So I think that that's an important feature to mention. And Jody, if you want to go ahead and head on down. I love this exit way or entry way with this nice uh, chrome and glass decorative feature over here on your way in. Of course, we've got our fire hydrant here as well. And then another thing that we are able to have because of our HWH system, these hydraulic steps are so luxurious. They go all the way down to the ground. So we just love that. Um, this is a great screen door for those of you who have puppies. Nice solid door. They don't get to get out. And then our really nice door here has a great window on it, but more importantly, we've got a doorbell and then our keyless pad here allows us to go ahead and lock all of our doors with just the touch of a button. So we can lock and unlock all of our bays at our keypad out here, which is a super, super nice feature. Uh, but I love having a doorbell as well. Now we are going to talk a little bit again about that air ride cab. This is the switch to turn it on and off. So you'll usually have that on going down the road. You would normally have that off if you arrived at your destination. If you leave it on, what ends up happening is it uh, will start to air up while you're sleeping and you'll be like, what in the heck was that noise? It was your air ride cab. Now, I know you guys opened this. Did you close it again? Can I get in there? Oh yeah, there we go. They just closed one side. So Daniel, here's that Cummins engine. Again, this is that 8.9 liter Cummins you were asking about. I love this paint job. And Jody, if you just take a look straight down the side here, there's what I was talking about with that color matching. And that's why I wanted to leave that bedroom slide open just to show you how cool it is that your slides when they pop out aren't just plain white or plain black or plain whatever. I mean, it's just so nice. Numar does such a fantastic job um, with their paint system. And again, you can custom order these paints, but this is Gotham this year. Gotham last year was like gold and green and off-white. So this year it is sidewall white, which is one of my very favorite colors. And all of these beautiful navies and blues and grays, it's just a sexy, sexy beast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this bad boy up. And as you can see, this is super simple to be able to do so. And then push down here. And you'll note here that on the side here I've got, if I put my right hand turn signal on, this is that camera that shows me that side angle. And then up here to the left of the door, there's an overhead camera. So there's a bunch of cameras on this coach. And of course, that's going to revolutionize a lot of what we're used to seeing in the RV industry. Um, having those overhead cameras is really nice. Huge bay here. This is a great bay to be able to put, you know, have a board. Uh, I think we keep our barbecue on this side. Pretty sure that's our barbecue bay. Um, again, we talked briefly about this little Dometic cooler. I think it's so interesting, but you know, one of the things that's so nice about this is this is going to give you enough room without ice 
to keep things refrigerated. And as you could see, you could definitely get two bottles of Dom in there. A few Trulies, whatever it is that you want to have to drink. Keep them cool. You don't need to have your, uh, your cooler. Um, but if you do want to have a cooler as well, you can keep your cooler here. And of course, where that's convenient is a lot of times, if you're going camping, you're not going to just be hanging out at the RV all day. You'll want to have a cooler with you. So I really do like this idea of having two different ways to keep things chilled. One that doesn't require any ice, but then one, of course, that's going to be, again, mobile. Uh, so we like that feature a lot. Uh, we talk a lot about televisions. Here's another TV for you. As you can see, I can lift this up. A lot of people will ask me if I can lift this up and make it higher. I can, but what I find is that to keep the glare off, it's typically better to have it down like this. Um, and then here in this rear bay, you'll see we have our road vac system. And then I was talking earlier about that tray. So this is the only tray that's available on the Superstar. Um, it's a thousand pound weight rating. Uh, your porcelain tile floors are right here. So if you do crack a tile and you need another one, there's extras that come with a coach. You also have your, uh, your awning overrides for your Girard awning system. Of course, this Girard awning system, as you can see here, there's gonna be an awning back here on the left and then one over here on the right. So you'll have a full awning system, the whole length of the coach. And then above that dining area, there's the first of the carefree awnings. And then I'll show you the other two on the other side as well. Um, now that road back system, those are the little, uh, the the tubes the tubes of this hoses. the hoses <laughs> i don't know if you guys know this but all of these videos are live and uh do you remember walking into blockbuster when you were a kid and as soon as you walked in you forgot everything that's kind of what happens when you're making a video like all of your words just leave <laughs> You come up with like new words that go in the Webster's Dictionary. Uh, no, so you've got your uh, you've got your hoses here. You also have uh, a downsizer. I get asked this all the time. And one manufacturer gives you one, the other one doesn't. So this is a 20,000 pound hitch. So it takes you from three to two. I always forget whether or not it comes on this model or the other one. Uh, so it does come with this. And then of course you've got your reversible balls. And then most importantly, Take a look at that. How cool is that? So that is, there we go. That is like one of the best features of this coach. Uh, we have that little small table you get from Costco that we keep under here along with our broom and a mop. We can keep everything in here. Our paddleboard uh, paddles are in here. And then uh, Jason has totally ruined all of my dreams. I have no top shelf here. I do. I have uh, extension cords, tire shine, like Windex, all this stuff that I think should be somewhere else in like a bin. This would be a great place for, you know, Belvedere, Patron, you know, all your mixers. I mean, this is like a party on wheels. Uh, no, Jason, Jason's not ruined all my dreams. I have a, I have a fantastic boyfriend. Um, love him to pieces. And we do. We really love our 4065. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this up and then we'll just talk a little bit about all of our pre-wire here. So I got all of your pre-wire here for your trailer as well as for your, uh, your seven pin connector. Again, a 20,000 pound towing capacity here. Extra docking lights throughout this coach are going to make it just that much easier to be able to load things. Um, here in the back, you'll be able to see our star foundation, strong, true and robust is what allows us to raise this coach off of the chassis rail. So where you would normally have your drive axle with the coach sitting right on top of it, we are able to take with the star foundation, this foundation for the coach and raise it up. And we actually put a table where Big Bertha meets the platform of this coach and raises the, the, the base of this coach to that platform, making it completely level. And that's what gives us that extra pass-through space that you can see. So you can see there's so much more room in these bays. They're like nine inches taller than a, t than a typical bay. Um, but more importantly, because they're not sitting right on that rail, you don't get tile popping. You don't get that flexing. You get a really nice quiet uh, ride going down the road. And then on top of that, they're able to put in a three inch subfloor on top of that, uh, tr that foundation. So foundation first, and then your subfloor next. 
And what that does is it makes it quieter going down the road, cooler in the summer, hotter in the winter. Um, everything just stays so much better insulated and it's such a nicer driving vehicle than anything else in the marketplace. Uh, so you can see the slide mechanism here is powering this entire slide. Uh, this is going to be a full wall slide. So this is a triple slide offered by Newmar. Uh, this little extra pigtail back here is going to be if you want to run anything off of your coach. Maybe you've got some electric bikes to power, a gen, whatever it might be, right off of this plug in here. Um, Newmar made the doors easier to close this year. So cheers to them for that. I mean, that was just like, whoa. <laughs> for those of us that have been selling uh, Newmar's for a long time, we're used to really having to kind of get our work out in closing all these bay doors. It's really easy now. So good job, you guys. Huge improvement. Uh, these are the real deal. These nice Alcoa rims, super sexy. Again, this, look at how thick this aluminum is. So this is one of those things that you just take for granted, but honestly, this is gonna give you less reverberation, a better, quieter ride going down the road, um, less road noise. So all of that is so important. Numar uses all of the top components when they put their coaches together. Um, here's your gray and, black tel uh, gray and black tank valves right here. You can see your auto fill, your sewage rinse, your outdoor shower, with hot and cold, your whole house water filter, and there's your shower head. Uh, and then of course we are on a power uh, water hose right here as well. So no having to store that, it just rolls right in, super easy for storage. This little guy here is just a great place to keep your gravity hose and some gloves. And again, more of those side docking lights, really nice feature giving you better visibility. Of course, where are you going to be sitting when you're trying to load and unload stuff? Where do you need that light? Of course, your, your power and all that's going to be right here. You know, it's where your water is going to be needing to be hooked up to. You've got that lighting system right there that really makes a big difference. Uh, I know we talked about it earlier, but you've got an 8,000 kilowatt, no, sorry, 8 kilowatt, 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. That's what QD means uh, by Cummins again. And we already know what the gen hours are on this on this generator because they're on the inside, but they're also located out here. And you can pre-start and, st and uh, stop your generator from the outside of the coach as well as on the inside of the dash. Uh, again, this is the battery that comes with this coach. Uh, this is going to be a lead acid battery. I know that in the brochures of the past, it said that they were AGMs. You get eight lead acid batteries. Same capacity, just a different kind of execution. Uh, both are gonna give you 800 amp hours of storage. And of course, when you have solar, it's to charge your batteries. When you're running your generator, it's gonna charge your batteries. Everything is designed to fill these. So the amount of these that you have can only carry so much. For those of you that are really interested in lithium, please give me a call. Let's talk about why you think you need lithium and what the benefits it's going to bring to you are. Because there are certain situations where it's crucial to have them, but there's a lot of situations where they're really just a lot of extra expense. And this 800 amp hours of storage is gonna be more than enough. Uh, in our case, it certainly is. Oh, well, hey, look at that. There's the boiler system. I've been dying to show you guys what the inside of this Oasis looks like. So when we talk about that dual loop Chinook and that boiler on the interior, this is the actual boiler system. Uh, so it's really interesting to see how this whole thing works. This system is what is actually heating up and then running out of these tubes up here throughout the coach. And you can see those red tubes go here and then you can see the yellow liquid. If you come down here, Jody, uh, just going into the top, those are the tubes that are running throughout the coach underneath that are keeping your coach warm. So really important to talk about this dual loop system and how it works, but this is the actual interior boiler. We talk about it all the time. I thought it'd be kind of nice to show you what it actually looks like. Um, and this is one of the differentiating features from Newmar versus anyone else. The, the only uh, manufacturer that actually uses uh, the uh, Oasis system in their manufacturing as opposed to the Aquahot system. Uh, and then right here, we talked about this too, something else that's very differentiating, HWH. Uh, this is your hydraulic system. Kind of interesting in that they are uh, covering it when you buy a Dutch Star. I don't know why they have to cover it. I think it looks so cool, but I'm a techie, you know. My first job was at Craig and Auto Parts, so go figure. Um, and then here you'll see our 50, our, our 50 foot power cord on a power reel, the little buttons right there. We also have our, uh, our Magnum inverter. We've got a 3000 watt inverter and our surge protector. 
and then another one of our cameras over here and then up here above these two windows so above the the bedroom window and then also above the living room window again those curtains or not curtains but uh, those uh, carefree awnings that can come out they're manually deployed the latch just sticks right onto here uh, they're so much more sturdy than when you have just those elbow awnings that are coming in and out you can really use these at a much more breezy condition which of course is super important um, now here in this bay I think this is an important aspect of this video just because no one ever knows uh, where they can get is it that key mine are all matched so I don't know which one of these so just you know don't bring one key I have a client who brought one of these to Florida and he needed both <laughs> so he could not get into his gas tank which I thought was hilarious because he only brought one of them they look the same but they're different um, so one operates your fuel tanks that doors the other one doesn't so here's your def tank here here's your one of your 50 gallon saddle tanks of course again 100 gallon fuel capacity this is one of your saddle tanks but up here is where you can air up your tires so a lot of people don't know where that is. That is where your air tank outlet is. That's where you would actually plug that in. So if you needed to air up a tire, the last time that I wanna have you watching a video is when you need to watch a video. So there you go, watch that now. Again, we've already talked about these seats, but you've got the heated seats, the air ride, um, great cab, easy to get into. More importantly, what a look. Um, if you want to jump your coach, I'll just show this to you really quickly. got your positive and negative down here great access to all of your filters of course on the super C um, as you can see this is a be a very very easy to work on vehicle um, absolutely dead sexy mm -hmm. uh, this is again the new Gotham interior uh, my name is Katie O'Neill uh, this superstar that you're looking at here is 5n221238 again 5n221 238 uh, this is a 2023 Numar Superstar 4065 if you like one I'd love to help you can always find my contact information down below you can reach me at 303-562-8659 by text give me a call I'm always available and I'd love to get you camping and on the road thanks so much for tuning in